All right, guys, I got quite a scam to talk to you about here. Spanish church sells land in heaven for $100 per square meter. I mean, all right, let's read through some of it. A Christian church of Spanish Portuguese lineage has started selling plots of land in heaven. The pastor of N N Toms or in Toms claims he spoke to God in 2017 during a meeting as per TikTok influencers who posted the news online, the land is being sold at a rate of $100 per square meter, and even a portion of it could guarantee living next to the creator of the universe. A brochure with the details uh, of the deal is in circulation on the internet. It shows a grand house built in the cloud with golden rays coming from behind it, coming from behind. The picture is juxtaposed with a family of four and all sorts of digital payment options, including Visa, Master. Master, Maestro, Rupay, and even, I don't even know what half these are, and even digital wallets such as Google Pay and Apple Pay. Real estate influencer Armando Pantoya, who described the news as the biggest real estate deal, remarked that the church had already, has millions of dollars from this. All right, what? Okay, so here, let's, let's watch this little video here on it. This is huge news. There's a Christian church out there selling land plots in heaven. The church is selling these plots starting out at $100. And you can pay in installments. And there's already been millions of dollars collected by the church. The church is named the Church of End Times. And its leader claimed that in 2017, he had a meeting with God. And God authorized the sale of plots near God's palace. Even offering mortgages on this land. And it guarantees you a spot in heaven regardless of the size plot that you buy. Could this possibly be one of the biggest real estate deals on the planet? I want your thoughts in the comments below. Follow me for more on Stocks, Tech, and Investing. I hope this story is fake. I hope it's not true. And my instinct was, ah, I bet this is fake, right? But it reminded me of, I used to see this infomercial all the time at like 3 a.m. You know, you get home after a late night at the bar or something when you're in college, you turn on the TV and it's past the time where the normal programming is playing and it's some infomercial shit. And I remember there's this guy by the name of Peter Popoff. We may have covered him on the show uh, in the past, but he would sell holy water and charge a ridiculous amount of, I'm forgetting how much it cost, but he'd literally sell just like a little thing of water and claim it was holy water and it was blessed and it would fix all of your physical ailments and any sicknesses you have and your debt, your debt would be fixed if you just send this guy a hundred dollars and he sent you this little bit of water. And I remember thinking like, this is the most insane scam in the world and it's on TV. They're just letting it run on TV. And so remembering that, it made me think about this like, oh, no, this is probably, somebody's actually probably doing this. It's not just like a joke. It's not just people are pretending like this is happening. No, I bet this is real. And I bet this is not the first time it's ever happened, right? Didn't we cover, I think there was some Catholic priest who was selling space in heaven or something. All right, here's my controversial take on this, because I saw a tweet that said this, and I, I thought about it quite a bit. Somebody's tweet said, honestly, I'm at the point now, I don't even feel bad for these people. I mean, this is clearly a case of like, like this is fraud. This is a scam. You're scamming people. But the person on Twitter was like, you know what? At this point, I don't even feel bad for you. If you Go ahead. If you want to send however much money you want to send, they raise millions of dollars. Is that part true? I don't. I really hope that's not true. But if you want to go ahead and send money and, and do, go ahead. It reminds me of, again, the this one is not religious, but they used to say you could buy a star, name a star. And it's like, this is just a company collecting money and then pretending like you bought a star and you didn't fucking buy a star. It's not a thing, right? What are you talking about? Buy a star? They just send you like a little piece of paper that says, yeah, you now own this star or whatever. Like, you know, like, and the person said, I don't, I just, I just don't feel bad. And you know, I don't know if I'm in my Joker era, but I sort of agree. Like on the one hand, it's like, yeah, but what if it's like some old sweet grandma and she's just so religious and she really thinks it's real and she goes for it. And, like, I kind of feel bad for that person, but, like, if you can't see through this scam, then I don't think there's any hope for you. I really don't. I really don't. If you can't see through this one, 
I don't know if there's anyone. I mean, these are the kinds of people who would respond to an email from a Nigerian prince, right? Like that's where we're at. And at some point, at some point, I really do think people just need like, you need, you got to take responsibility for your own actions on this shit. Because we can't build a society that is clean and pure enough to protect your dumbass, right? Like, we would need... I mean, basically, these people need the equivalent of, like, pillows taped to the walls all around their house so that they don't get a concussion or hurt themselves. It's like, should we really have to tape pillows to the walls of all of our society to protect people that are this far gone, bro? And I don't know, maybe I'm going too far. Maybe it's the fact that there's like a religious angle to it that sort of gets under my skin, but... Yeah, I don't know, I feel bad. I feel bad for you. There's so many other scams that like, you could see how a reasonable person could fall for it and you feel kind of bad. It's like, oh, that sucks. Anybody could have got got on that shit, right? Then you see this and it's like, if you got got on this, I honestly don't know how you tie your shoes I don't know how you get up in the morning and just go about your business and make it at home at night without somehow walking into traffic, right? I don't understand it. So, I don't know, man. You tell me. Because the other point to make here is, as much as this is some scammy-ass bullshit, and it is, it's not like people who send a regular donation to their church aren't sort of falling for a scam as well. What is a religion? A religion is just a, a cult that attracted so many people that it became undeniable, right? That you just had to factor for it. Because, hey, so many people are part of this thing, so I guess it's legitimate because there's so many people, right? That's all a religion is. So the people who are sending their whatever, put their 20 bucks into the basket at church on, on a Sunday, it's like, you're falling for just a, a, a scam of the same magnitude that's promising you less, right? That's all it is. Yeah, give, give the Catholic Church more money so that they can uh, recruit more altar boy kids to be around the uh, priests for no nefarious purposes whatsoever. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm in my Joker era, but I just can't. I can't muster any, any sympathy on this front. If you're falling for this one, there's not a damn thing you won't fall for, bro. There's, I'm sorry. You, you can't function in fucking normal, modern society. If this is the level of the thing you're falling for, you're not getting a plot in heaven. You're just getting shook down. And on some level, they probably know that too. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.